Hey, what's going on, guys? Vulcan here. Today, I'm going to be talking about the recent announcement that Eagle Dynamics released regarding the new implementation of multi-threading in DCS World. So today, we're going to start out with their new announcement of the updated DCS graphics engine, this being called Edge. It's going to be coming next year along with the multi-threading changes. I'm a software developer. I have a background in software engineering. I've been working in it for three years. I've been practicing GitHub by myself, you could say, for around seven years now. And essentially what some of you may have missed in that announcement is that they have announced independent logic and graphics. Basically, this is huge, guys. Before, the way how DCS was processed, we had the logic and graphics synced up together. What this means is that in a large simulation where the CPU is crunching away at those huge numbers trying to calculate, the GPU would actually be slowed down by that. So we had the physics and we had the graphics synced up now, but this is a huge limitation. But now that GPUs are actually able to keep up with the physics, crunching of modern CPUs. When the CPU is getting loaded, you're having the graphics having to sync up with it. Now that is a huge bottleneck to the FPS, guys. So this is huge because we can have the GPU working away at pumping out high frame rates while the CPU is working away with the, uh, with the physics engine, crunching away all of those simulations. What this means is that we're gonna, we're gonna see substantially higher FPSs. Now, this is all just speculation, but they did announce this. So they announced that they are going to be having this separation between physics and graphics. This is huge, guys. Absolutely massive. Not to mention the huge VR performance benefits due to this. We, we can have our GPU working away and having our VR headset being tracked, being rendered. And then we're going to be having our CPU crunching away the numbers. What really matters is that we have a smooth experience. The most significant performance improvements will be in larger missions, as that's when performance is significantly hampered by the CPU trying to keep up with all of the physics simulations. But other than that, we should see a good improvement across the entire board. Taking a note from the developer's post, so they hope to add scalable multi-threading, modern graphics APIs, and the they're looking to revamp the entire graphical engine. Also, many subsystems have been absolutely updated or written from scratch, guys. This is a huge project, huge change to DCS. Absolutely fundamental difference. So, what do I think of it? Personally, I think that this is going to vastly improve our experience in large missions and in small missions in single player and multiplayer. The use of multi-threading has been widely praised by the programming community and has been used in every application where you have asynchronous workloads, especially applications where you have simulations. So guys, we can only see the changes once they are actually implemented. Take this all with a grain of salt, please. This is my take on it. I've worked with software for a very long time and this does look very promising for us in the DCS community. Keep updated on the forums and on the newsletter that DCS does provide on their website. I will be linking it in the description. Do make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you do like these kind of videos. I've also got loads more videos where I do realistic missions and scenarios with my friend Aratoloma. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.